Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today's gospel comes from John chapter 6, verses 52 through 59. Perhaps the strongest language that our Lord uses to affirm the truth of his real presence in the blessed sacrament. Body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, truly, really, substantially present in the sacred host. And here at the beginning of this gospel passage, we have the Jews who are arguing among themselves. And they say, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Now, there's nothing wrong with faith-seeking understanding, right? There are many mysteries of the faith which surpass our understanding um, and which are necessary to believe, but there's nothing wrong with seeking to understand as best as we can. You know, this is how a St. Thomas Aquinas and other doctors of the church get a deeper understanding of teachings like the Eucharist and transubstantiation. They ask how, and they delve into it, and they pray for enlightenment. So there's certainly nothing wrong with asking how, as long as it is faith seeking understanding. That is, we believe, first and foremost, based on the authority of Christ's words. And then we seek to understand by study and by prayer and reflection and all the rest. But the problem here with the Jews who are arguing among themselves is they are asking how prior to belief. See, they're making their understanding a condition for believing. And that's a problem. And that's a problem because, as St. Augustine says, God can do more than we are capable of understanding. And so we need to humble ourselves and accept based on the authority of the one who is revealing. And here Jesus Christ has said it himself, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.